If you're investigating using Lunar Display to allow you to connect your old iMac as a screen to your new Mac, then there are several connectivity options available to you. You need to somehow allow the two Macs to talk to one another. And this video will show you all of the different options available to you. Now let's talk about how we connect the two devices. So you can use a USB-C to USB-A cable. On that part, we've got our USB-C port that plugs into your new Mac, your Mac Silicon Mac. And on the other end of the cable, we've got the USB-A port. So that's what that USB-A is. And that simply plugs into a USB port on your iMac. Amazing, but that's all you need to do. You need to plug those two in, plus you need to make sure that you've got a port available for that uh, Lunar Display dongle as well. Once you've got that, you've got everything you need hardware-wise to connect the two. Now, that's not the only choice. You could simply plug in the USB um, dongle from Lunar Display and use a Wi-Fi connection. So if you have both of your Macs connected to the wireless network that you have, that's a great solution as well. The problem is that a lot of the time your wireless network might be a little bit dodgy, especially if your wireless router is not in the same room as you are with your two Macs. If the wireless signal has to go through walls and that kind of thing, that will slow the signal down, weaken the signal, and it will not give you the best performance. So your screen refresh rate may be a little bit slower. So there's another option which is called peer-to-peer -peer connection. And the peer-to-peer -peer connection is something that you select in the software of Astropad Lunar Display that will essentially allow the M series Mac to create a little mini network between the two devices. And that can be a lot more stable and a lot faster. Plus, you can still use your Wi-Fi connection for all of the other things that you normally get out for, of the internet for. It doesn't take any setting up other than selecting it in the Lunar Display software. The peer-to-peer -peer connection does require your iMac to be running uh, Mac OS 10, 15 or later. The next option is you could get a Thunderbolt cable. Now, the, th the problem with the Thunderbolt cables is that you need to maybe get a converter. If your old iMac has an old style of Thunderbolt, then you can't really easily find a USB-C Thunderbolt cable that has the right connector on the other end. And even the converters aren't readily available, even through Apple, as far as I can see. Depends on your old iMac and whether you can find the cable to do it. The way I connect is through Ethernet. The Ethernet cable that we've got here, you see that connector and this cable is a short cable with the same connector on it. The way you connect this is you would connect one end into the Ethernet port that appears on your Mac Mini and your Mac Studio and then you connect the other side, the other port, directly into your iMac. Now, what if the situation is that you've already got a cable like this plugged into either one of those devices? Well, that means that you have your Mac connected to a router, which is going off and providing you with internet services. If you're close enough to your own router, just plug a brand new cable into the router so each of your Mac devices goes through the router and they're connected automatically that way. That is the way that I do it. So I've got both of my computers separately connected using an Ethernet cable directly into the router. If you've only got a cable that's coming out of the wall somewhere into your existing Mac and you want to connect via Ethernet, then I suggest that instead you go down the route of looking at a switch. So let me just show you the options available in the switch arena. 
So this is Amazon in the search area. If you put Ethernet switch or switch Ethernet, it doesn't really matter which one. And there are some expensive ones and there are some very low cost ones. This would work perfectly well. So what you would be able to do is connect the cable one end into one of those ports and then you connect a similar cable. Hopefully you've got a few of these hanging around because you don't need to go and buy anything special most of the time. Uh, they'll be labeled as Cat 5E or Cat 6E. They would all work for this situation. So then you find the other cable, plug that end in to one of your free ports and then the other end into your Mac Mini or Mac Studio. And finally, the cable that was coming through the wall, you plug it into that switch, uh, again, into any one of those free ports, and it will then share the internet connection between the two Macs that you've got, and it will also connect the two Macs themselves via the network, which is a very um, useful thing to do. Similarly, you can still do this with a, a um, MacBook Pro, but what you would need to do is you would need to get yourself a converter. So I've got a USB-C converter here, which is just a bank of additional USB ports, but one of the ports on this very low cost device here that says LAN. So if you look at the LAN ports that I show you, that LAN port is for an ethernet cable. So that gives you ethernet cable access if you're using a MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, any of those to allow you to connect up an ethernet cable and give you that kind of wired connection. So I hope you found that video informative. Don't be scared of investigating a few of the connectivity options. Cable is always faster than wireless and the easiest, in my opinion, is to use the Ethernet cable. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see some more of the same sort of content and I look forward to helping you again in the near future. Take care now.